AI. Welcome to Tokyo Google Look, your one-stop YouTube channel for Japan travel guides. And this is Wang. In this episode, we'll be introducing how to take a Tokyo one-day trip using only the Metro Chiyoda Line. The advantage of doing so is that you can avoid getting lost in the notoriously complicated Tokyo subway system, since you are only using one Metro line. The course of the Chiyoda Line covers some of the major and also hidden spots in Tokyo, such as Ryogi Park, Harajuku, Omotesando, Nogizaka, Otemachi, Nezu, and so on. In today's plan, we'll be starting at Yoyuki Park Station. Of course, you'll have to get there from where you stay. But then all you need to do is to stick to the Chiyoda Line. Remember to purchase the Tokyo Metro One Day Pass for 600 yen, so you can take the sub as many times as needed. Just right outside the station, you can find a bakery called 365 Days, known for its freshly baked bread, at which you can have breakfast since it opens at 7 a.m. It might be intriguing to try some Japanese-style bread. After breakfast, you can either walk through the park or take one station to Meiji Jingumai slash Harajuku Station. I recommend walking. It takes 20 minutes, but it's definitely worth it. The Yoyogi Park. Covers an area of 540,000 square meters, and is located in the center of Shibuya Ward. It's also one of the best places to see cherry blossoms in spring. Now we're at Harajuku. Let's see some traditional Japanese architecture, and also one of the most famous shrines in Tokyo. Meiji Shrine. First established in 1920, Meiji Shrine was dedicated to the deified spirits of Emperor Meiji and his wife, Empress Shoken. Aside from touring the historical buildings, we also recommend taking a walk in the 70 acres of green space. Our next stop is Omote Sando. We also suggest walking instead of taking the subway, because Omote Sando is a straight avenue extending from Harajuku Station to Omote Sando Station. Both sides of the road are lined with luxury brands and flagship stores like Apple stores. Taking a walk along Omote Sando is the best way to visit the area. The Google Maps link of this video is in the description below. Then we take the Chiyoda Line from Omote Sando to Nogizaka Station, and just a two-minute walk from the station, you can get to Nogi Shrine. It's associated with the location named Girls Group Nogizaka 46. Also around the station is the National Art Center, Tokyo. It's free to look around in the museum, but you can get tickets to dedicated exhibitions if interested. The art center itself is worth visiting. It should be around lunch time. We'll be moving from Nogizaka Station to Otemachi for some food. We recommend two restaurants here, Hot Spring Curry and Oden Kashimi. Both are pretty decent Japanese cuisine with a reasonable price around 1,000 to 1,500 yen. After lunch, we're heading to Tokyo Station, which is just right next to Otemachi Station. Established in 1914. Tokyo Station is viewed as the central station of the capital, and at the same time, a terminal station for most of Japan's high-speed rails, also known as Shinkansen. The design of the station is iconic 
thus making it a popular photo spot. Next station, we are going to Nezu. Five minute walk from the station is a street called Aizome Odori. Every Sunday, the street is blocked for pedestrians only and will have local markets selling handmade art crafts. Another mud sea spot in Nezu is Nezu Shrine. Yes, another shrine. Make sure to visit the path of Tori, which is a pathway consisting of numerous Tori and is an iconic feature in Japanese shrine architecture. Moving on, we take the subway for one station to Sendaki Station and walk 4 minutes to Yanaka Ginza Shopping Street, an old fashioned shopping street where you can experience the well remained old town Shidamaji atmosphere. There are plenty of decent street snacks here, including the croquette shop. Nikuno Suzuki. Last stop, we are going to Kitasenju Station for dinner. Kitasenju is a residential area, so along with the station are two chain department stores, Marui and Lumine, where locals come here shopping for daily supplies, clothes, or dining. Just anything they need in general. Therefore, around the station gather a lot of authentic restaurants, like the one we recommend, Ippo Ippo. It's an izakaya, a type of informal Japanese bar that serves alcoholic drinks and snacks, and oftentimes, lots of great food. It's a kind of place where you can really feel the Japanese vibe. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See ya!